to Kokomo now in a story that is almost certain to brighten your Friday evening. Strangers reaching out to help the victims of the August tornadoes. As RTV6's Derek Thomas reports, two families are especially grateful for their gifts tonight. Lee's expert glass was busy making repairs after the tornado. They especially wanted to help a man named Ray Richmond. The van Richmond used to transport his six grandchildren was not treated well by the tornado. This is the way it looked, and it was determined it was beyond repair. I had to borrow vehicles and stuff, my daughter's van to get the kids around and stuff, but it was kind of upsetting to see that. It was upsetting to Lee Newcomb, too. He operates Lee's expert auto glass, and he made it his mission to get a new van for the family. Eight businesses and nine individuals raised $1,800 to get the family this van. They posed outside it and thanked those who donated. Um, I think it's just we have a, a really good community here. We have a, a sense of community togetherness, like a family. We're just the vessel, but it was the unity in our community that made the difference. We were just the vessel to make it happen. The helping does not end there. The tornado shattered every window in 35-year-old Nina Sharp's truck. The mother of five could not pay for the repairs that amounted to about $1,000. An anonymous donor took care of the cost. Newcomb did the repairs. I'd like to know who it was. <laughs> I can't. You can't thank somebody enough. What would you do for him? Anything. <laughs> Sharp was so happy to have her windows repaired, she cooked barbecue pork for Newcomb's crew. Maybe the key to generosity is being well fed. In Kokomo, Derek Thomas, RTV6.